Hello, this is my first impressions of Master Dater, a card game that comes from Cyanide and Happiness. Um, this is not the review that will be coming later. I will be writing the review and publishing it. I don't control other sites publishing schedule, but my own will be published. I will put up a link in the comments to Guildmaster Gaming. And you can get that through my author page at guildmastergaming.com or directly going to the blog guildmastergaming.blogspot.com. So Master Dater, a messed up dating game from Cyanide and Happiness. This is a game designed for three to six bad people, it says, ages 14 plus, and it takes 20 plus minutes. So that's what we have on the top. I'm also going to be looking at an expansion that I got, which is Uncut, a depraved 150 card expansion. So that's what we have there. Now, the box on the back, to give you an idea what this really is all about, in Master Dater from Cyanide and Happiness, players create crimes against nature, and those three lords have then been lined out, and it says, wacky characters and vie for each other's attention and affection, defeat your rivals, and win at love. And when they mean odd combinations, I mean, I think you can see that they have a head and a body card, and then you have some other aspects that you're trying to develop. So when I open this up and take a look at it, I see that it's actually a very simple game. You got a lot of cards. The rules are all onto one page, not even the back of it, just one page down. So it's a very simple game to learn of what you're trying to do. So that tells me right now that this is not a game to be taken really serious. It's about having fun. And like they said, creating wacky uh, creatures that are vying for love. So the initial and the expansion here all kind of have the same thing. They have body cards and head cards, and then interest cards that cover three different areas. So to give you an idea, the body cards here, I mean, you're looking at a good double deck of cards. So that's a good solid set. And they have all sorts of different body cards. This one is a planet-sized body, uh, currently dying, Pregnant and skeleton. So all of these, you can tell, they're just fun little looks. There's nothing serious about these cards at all. And they go in all sorts of different areas. Uh, so yeah, shape shifter even, you know, so you have all sorts of different things there. Now the head cards are the same way. It's another really big deck. And there's a shark. You got a dead head, a furry head. There's only hair. So you could have cousin it in your game. There's again, all these different cards. So I know from what I was looking at, you have to combine a head and that, and then you have these interest cards. Now there was again, the initial one, there's three piles this thick of these smaller interest cards. And they're divided up into three because you have three different areas you're looking at. And they're marked on the back, on the one side, they all have the same look. So you don't know what people will have in their hands, it looks like. But on the back, there are different colors, a blue, a pink, and a yellow. And they, they go, I need someone who, and it has a statement, I'm interested in, statement, fun fact about me. Now, so each one of these has a different emblem down there. And I did see in the rules that part of the game is you have to collect up these different emblems to win the game. So like, I need someone who can help me steal the Declaration of Independence. Good movie reference. I'm interested in finding a new fast food mascot. Or fun fact about me, I'd like to use your likeness in my fanfic. So there's a lot of different options here that are going through. So I can see... What they've done is kind of taken a variation of like what they lined out, Cards Against Humanity without calling it that, make it a dating game. We were trying to compete that way. Now, this other one is 150 more cards, and I'm not going to show those up because I took a quick look. Uh, and like it says, these are the ones that for 14 and up, they probably won't mean much of a problem. However, if you do have some concerns, you might want to take a look at them because, yeah, there are a few things that kind of deal with some uh, sexual innuendo or political innuendo. 
some of those things that we consider that people find very much they like about some of the other games out there. The same thing for the interest cards. They have the three one different areas. Um, but again, they have the same type of innuendos and kind of the Cards Against Humanity feel of where you're trying to do a little bit more of a despicable play. So if you like just having the fun part of it, you can have the, the first one. Yeah, it has some a little bit of off color, but it's not going to be the further off color like you get with the expansion and uncut. So like I said, this is not the review yet. Or we haven't seen how it plays, but I get a feeling from taking this first look at it where it's going to be a kind of a faster paced game uh, based on the timeline. It's a little bit more adult themed, a little bit more mature in a lot of the elements. You're playing for the humor of it all, not so much about you know the scoring. Uh, in fact, I know people that play the other card games, you know, like this, you know, Cards Against Humanity. They don't even keep score for the most part. It's just see how much laugh they can get out of it over the time they have. You could do probably the same thing with this one. With the time frame of 20 minutes, uh, 20 minutes plus, this could be a good filler game if you've got some people as you're waiting to get, or if you want to take a break from a heavier game, it would do that. It all comes in a nice box. So if you're traveling, that could probably make it a little bit easier as a cabin game because you don't need a board or anything to take with it. You just have the cards and go from there. So like I said, this is not the review. I'll be posting that up through the blog, uh, which you can find either through my author webpage at guildmastergaming.com or you can find directly to the blog at blogspot.com. And I'll get that out. If you like what you're seeing here, please like this. <clears throat> Share it with your friends that you think would like this type of game so they can see what's coming out there. And if you subscribe to the channel, I would thank you because that will help me to do more things.